in a Thai bakery right now. Coconut treats. My name is Kit Willisey. You're from Australia? Yeah, from Australia to Thai town. <laughs> it's a bit different. What do you guys do here? Um, I'm an actor, unfortunately, um, like everybody else. Writer, artist, and really bad skateboarder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Have you been in any movies? Mm, in Australia. <laughs> in Australia, which one? Yeah. Well, we wouldn't have heard of them, so it probably doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm, things are going good here. I'm doing a play next month. And, yeah, which one? It's really good. Play. It's called Boneyard. Boneyard. Yeah, What's it about? Set in the 50s. It's kind of about old Hollywood. Really, really cool. Well, I recently went to an antiques fair in Portland. That's the biggest antiques fair in America, apparently. Last week, and sorry, ignore my phone. And I found this, which is amazing. It was like 20 bucks. A um, bunch of other old war helmets and things. And yeah, really cool stuff. It's awesome. And I have. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this off. I have um, about 80 hats. Now. <laughs> and you, did you bring them all to LA? Uh, I got uh, this. I shipped them over. I bought a couple in my tiny suitcase, and then I started shipping boxes and boxes of hats. <laughs> from, uh, yeah, my mom shipped them all over. <laughs> so yeah, I think I've collected almost a hundred. And when I get to a hundred, I'm gonna have a hundred hats. <laughs> Everyone has one. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> Can I come to the hundred hat party? Yes. Do you have a card or something? <laughs> no, not with me. You can. Uh, You're from Australia, right? Yeah. Thanks, see you in a second. Can I get a photo? Yeah, sure. Blair, can I get a photo? Okay, ready? Where can we see your work? Uh, on the internet. What site? Um, I guess my Facebook, or I do Tumblr sometimes. What's your Tumblr? Um, I don't know, I think they're just under my name, Jesse Willison. Oh, okay. Oh, you... I've got one at the moment, it's called A Month of American Stuff. It's just A Month of American Stuff. Oh, okay. Dot Tumblr dot com? Uh, yeah, I okay. guess. Are you guys related? Yeah, that's my sister. Can you tell me more about that skateboard? Um, yeah, I got this at the antique fair as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, in Portland, it's from the 70s, it was made in California, it's, uh, it's really hard to ride and the wheels are you know, barely hanging on there. It's fun, very slow. <laughs> okay, we're going to... On the search for Johnny Depp's star. It's that way. Oh, it's that way? Yeah, yeah, it's that way. It is that way. Here's Mila. Kiss. Kiss star. Now, I heard you already have a picture of Johnny Depp star. An old photo. I need to keep it up to date. How often do you keep you get your photo updated? As often as I make it out to LA. How often is that? Not too often. Sadly. Here's James Dean with uh, injured elbows. Too many photographs. Okay, Boris, I can't find it. trailers for Adam Sandler films. The movie's called Jack and Jill. It looked uh, funny enough to me. It's 
good job. The trailer was funny, definitely. Um, what do you think? It's cool. It was cool. And uh, we're here in front of the soon to be a train station stairway to the west, as they call it. There's no train yet, but there is a stairway. Let's show the buildings. Reminds me of the Winchester Mystery House. I like that window there. Royal Tea. How was the porta party? Awesome. What'd you do in there? Some, some music. Here I am in the porta party. You can see you can plug in uh, your own iPod, I imagine. Teapot there in the storefront. Teapot bed. There's some Jeff Koons merchandise. Some of the artwork here. I can't really tell, but from what I can take from the image, the front, little corn type circles. What's the name of that brand? It's a good question. Here I have a, some coconut pudding we got at the Thai, uh, Thai bakery. I am unwrapping it. It's got a little square taro that kind of looks like pressed ham or something. Whoa. Well, it fell off. But it's okay because there's more in the jelly underneath. Okay. I'm about to eat it. Do it. Taro chunks are really weird. It's like, yeah, that was my one complaint on those. It's like half cooked potatoes in your dessert. Yeah. Kind of hard or kind of firm, chalky, kind of starchy bits. Do you like the tapioca on the bottom there? What would you rate it? Like one to ten. One is like the worst dessert you've ever had, and ten is like your favorite dessert. Take your I'd time. Say a five. I'd say a five, which is a pretty good score. Mm. I think because because uh, I mean the best dessert is going to be way up there at a ten. You know, so it's hard to get above a five. I think a five is a satisfactory dessert. I mean, maybe I'd give it a six. It's not bad. I don't really rate my desserts from one to ten. What? How do you? How do you rate your desserts? Uh, I rate them as like bad, <laughs> like really disgusting, really uh, just bad, meaning not good. <laughs> you know, you don't want a dessert that's just. It's just there. It's not really a dessert. Um, good and spectacular. That doesn't seem like enough categories, though. It's like a, There's so many things that would be in the good range. Okay. So one, I think one, one is, to ten. One is bad. Two one is satisfactory. Is... Three is. <laughs> three is good. And four is excellent. That's how I rate them. So, where would this place on your this one would, to four this scale? Would be two. A two. Which is good. Um, which is like fine. Which well, is satisfactory. Seems kind of low. It's satisfactory. Um, 
It's better. It's better than a so two and oatmeal a cookie than like from yeah. a grocery store. Like the, like the so would, cents would you put that on a one? That'd be a one. What, an oatmeal cookie? Yeah. No, an oatmeal cookie would be a two. An oatmeal cookie Oh, see? A, so the one to four doesn't store. work. Doesn't it's work. A two. You need a better. One to ten is definitely a better scale. No. I mean, it's as good as an oatmeal cookie. It just depends on your mood. You said it was better earlier. Well, so you're better. kind of changing. Maybe it's better. I think I can eat more oatmeal cookies <laughs> for a longer period of time than I can eat these. These are some tamarind, sweet and sour tamarinds I got. And it has chili peppers in it and sugar and salt. The tamarinds are real sour. And I like them. I like them. I've never had these. Anything like this. Mm. I think they have seeds inside them still. disappointed in these tamarinds. I thought they were going to be a lot more sour. Yeah, no. They're not really that sour at all. If you know anything about tamarinds, they're usually sour. Right? So, basically, I would give it like a 1 out of 10. Because it just tastes like a large, extra large raisin. And I hate raisins. But it doesn't have like the outer part of the raisin, it's just like the inner part of the raisin. You know how the raisin has like the. Yeah. But this doesn't have any. It's like a skinned raisin, you're saying? Yes, yeah, skinned raisin, and then it has pits in it. Not very good. Mila's review skinned raisin with pits. <laughs> Sounds as attractive as it tastes. Okay, today's style okay. report. I'm just gonna do a quick outfit of the day. Um, I'm wearing these sunglasses, which are from Marc Jacobs. They're gold rimmed. And I'm wearing these Dreamcatcher earrings with feathers on them. I got these at Pride Parade in San Francisco. What is that? Is that a parade or is it a store? Uh, it's a parade. Um, and then I'm wearing this stonewash crop top um, from Target, I believe. And I actually made these high-waisted shorts. How, how did you make them? Um, I, first I like got a... Exacto knife? Exacto knife. And I like cut slits in them. And then I, I got, um purple and turquoise fabric dye and I dip dyed them. Pretty cool. And then my shoes are just white Keds but they have this like cool braiding on the side. Yeah. Some purple socks that I got from grandma. Oh. Hi. Hi. I didn't see the car so I didn't know you guys were here. Oh. Your outfit's a little drab today. Well, I wouldn't use the word drab. I'd say uh, uh, minimal monochromatic. It's a sty stylistic choice. <laughs> Can't see your feet, just to let you know. Good move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for your dance moves. Maybe people can use this as inspiration.